Thumb. Oh, you, you got to give him that hawk too and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> I, I don't get you. I think you got to uh, demonstrate. Hawk too and spit no, like, on it. Spit on it. <laughs> All right, guys. In this video, I will show you two powerful AI tools that can help you with content creation and take your visuals to the next level. One of them has recently been updated and has been a massive help to my channel, saving me plenty of time. Let's begin. Wait, are you not gonna tell them? Tell them what? The thing. The thing? Yes, the one that you keep forgetting. Oh, right, the thing. So, I've noticed a lot of videos on my feed that offer advice like, do this and that if you're a small channel. While much of what they say is solid, I realized that no one has addressed a significant mistake that many people are unaware of and continue to make. I'm talking about keyword stuffing. So what is keyword stuffing? Essentially, it involves inserting the same keywords repeatedly in your description or tags to boost SEO. However, this tactic can actually harm your video's performance because YouTube considers it spam. As a result, it can negatively impact your video's ranking and may even lead to shadow bans. So, how can you avoid this while still increasing your SEO? It's simple. For example, if you create a video about AI, you should use the keyword AI only two or three times at most. Instead, find similar terms to complement your content. You could use phrases like artificial intelligence or machine learning. That's basically it. Now let's continue with the video. All right. The first tool I want to talk about is Ideogram, which has recently been updated and can now create mind-blowing things. Let's put it in test. Let's prompt for Elon Musk in a nightclub, is wearing a business suit holding a sign that reads, Ha ha, you're fired. Hit generate and I'll see you with the results. Here are the results, and as you can see, it completely nailed it. The picture looks quite convincing. It features Elon Musk holding a sign with our text spelled correctly, with no mistakes. He is wearing a business suit, and the AI even did a great job with the hand holding the glass, which is something AI is known to struggle with. Let's take a look at the remaining ones. That's all great, but how can Ideogram actually help you? Well, let's say you are planning to create a horror stories channel or an inspirational one. In the case of a horror stories channel, you can use prompts. For example, you could prompt, a boy in a haunted house holding a lantern looking scared. The atmosphere is gloomy and filled with horror. Then, enable the anime filter and hit generate. Here are the results, and I particularly like the second one. It's a great piece of artwork, and the colors used are amazing. But is this enough to start a channel? No. I will later show you how to create high-quality, consistent videos from it using AI. Completely for free. There is another way to make money with it. And it is a way that helped me make $339 last month along with another tool which I showed you in the previous video. To keep it short, if you are interested in making money with AI designs for print-on-demand sites, what you could do is, you guessed it, prompt. For example, what is always trending on such sites are cats, and specifically cat memes. So, let's prompt for one meme I have seen and liked. This time, with the filter set to auto, and an aspect ratio of 1 by 1, let's prompt for an illustration of a grumpy cat against a solid gray background is holding a sign that reads, I hate morning people, or mornings, or people. Here are the results of which I like the fourth one. As you can see, the design looks appealing, the text is coherent, and let me tell you from experience that a design like that can make a lot of sales. With winter up ahead, using this design on a hoodie could make you a lot of money. So my question is simple. Would you buy a hoodie with a design like that? I know I would. Which means if you and I would buy it, other people might buy it too, correct? All right, enough with Ideogram. Let me now show you another site with which I made the <laughs> intro and its interesting features. The site we'll be using is called LensGo, and I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this video. LensGo offers a wide range of AI features, including text-to-image, text-to-video, and image-to-video generation. However, what truly sets it apart is its video style transfer option. This feature allows you to take a video and transform it into various styles using pre-made templates, such as Ghibli style, video game aesthetics, zombie themes, Lego, Pixar, and much more. The best part is that you can also train your own style with just a few clicks and images, enabling you to transform your videos in unique ways. For example, I created an impressive result by taking a video of a guy playing guitar and transforming him into Itachi Uchiha.
All right, enough about me. Let's now see how you can create those visuals. First, let's return to the home page and start with the pre-made templates. To use them, click here and begin by uploading a video in this area. In this section, choose the desired FPS, the video duration, and the strength of the style. In the prompt section, briefly describe the video you uploaded. Lastly, select a style. I will go with the Ghibli one for now. Scroll down and hit Generate. Your generation will move to the right side of the screen and will be ready in a couple of minutes. I'll see you with the results. Here we are with the results. As you can see, the job done is amazing. The transformation looks smooth, and I'm particularly impressed with the fingers, which remain solid without suffering the fate of AI's typical struggle with hands and fingers. All right, using the same method, let's try another style. This time, we'll go with the Walking Dead Zombie style. Just click on it and hit Generate. Here are the results, and wow, this looks insane as well. I believe you've learned this method, so now let me show you how to train your own style with your own characters. Now don't be afraid of the word training. LensGo makes the process really easy. All you have to do is press the Training and Models option here, where my Itachi model has been saved, and click the New Model button. If you are training an anime character, select the Anime option from this menu. I will be training Vi from the Netflix series Arcane, so I'll enter her name here for convenience. To train the model, simply find 8 pictures of the character you desire from Google or another source and upload them here. I suggest using images from all angles, front, side, back view, full body, etc., for better results. After you upload the images, just hit the Start button here and wait for the process to complete. It will take around 25 minutes, so I'll see you with the results. Alright guys, the training has completed and my model is ready. To use it, simply select the model and choose the Video Transfer option. On this page, once again, choose the desired FPS, video duration, and style strength. This time, make sure to include your model's name in the prompt. Upload your desired video, in my case, another anime, and hit Generate. Here are the results. As you can see, the transformation worked, and once again, the final output looks great. Um, oh, you do gotta give him that hawk to and spit on that thing. <laughs> Here's a coincidence, you guys. As I was browsing the LensGo features, I found out that in the text-to-image option, they have the arcane style themselves, in which Vi, whom I created earlier, is starring alongside Jinx and Caitlyn. Let's see how good it is at creating those characters. So, here are the prompts I used for each character and the results I obtained. I'm actually speechless about how closely it portrayed the characters in relation to the arcane show, without the need to use any Laura, and how smooth and coherent the overall results look. Those are the LensGo features I found interesting and wanted to share with you guys. LensGo offers 100 free credits, so feel free to experiment further and unleash your creativity. Also, let me know your thoughts about it and how you plan to use it, if you will. I will include a link in the description for your convenience. As for how to create consistent animation videos, well, I'm sure you've heard of Luma's Dream Machine. But did you know that, at the time of recording this video, Dream Machine doesn't limit your free creations to just three and allows you to create an entire storyboard in the free plan? To get started, simply upload your picture, prompt what you want to see, and hit Generate. As you can see, the animation is smooth and visually appealing. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.